J K L N O P Q R S T U N D W X Y N Z. Now I know my A B C. Tell me what you think of me. We think it's very nice to know your alphabet. And at New York's Great Bronx Zoo, A stands for A N D Y N D, and here he is. A three and a half years old baby orangutan from the island of Borneo. Andy doesn't know anything at all about the alphabet, but we're going to show him the animals in the zoo whose names begin with alphabet letters from A to Z. A is for Audad, a kind of wild sheep that lives on the hot, dry hills of northern Africa. Just see how fast it can run. B is for bear, and especially for the big white polar bears that live near the North Pole. In the zoo, they like to dive into the water, and Andy's friend shows him just how they do it. Splash, and he's in. Polar bears have lots of fun in their pool. They have a barrel to play with, and on very hot days, they dive and splash and play all day long. They don't mind the heat at all. C comes next, and C stands for camel. Children ride on camels in the Bronx Zoo and have lots of fun. This kind of camel comes from the Arabian Desert, and Andy and his friend are going to take a camel ride and pretend they're crossing the hot sands of the desert. This is probably the first time a baby orangutan ever took a ride on a camel. Next is the letter D, and D is for deer. This is a kind of deer called Père David's deer that used to live in China. These are the only ones in the United States. What does E stand for? Why, E is for these playful young African elephants. Let's listen to them. F is the letter that stands for frog. Andy doesn't like frogs. He's getting out of there quick. It's just a common old bullfrog, Andy. It won't hurt you. Andy isn't sure about that, but he knows his friend won't let the frog jump at him. G is for gibbon, a kind of ape that lives in Malaysia. Listen to its call. G also stands for giraffe, the tallest animal in the world. Some giraffes are three times taller than a man. In Africa, it eats leaves, but in the Bronx Zoo, it likes a piece of bread, and it's willing to bend way, way down to get it. Did you ever see a giraffe bend down? This is the way he does it. Here comes the letter H, and H stands for the hippopotamus of Central Africa. This one is named Pete, and he's the oldest hippopotamus in any zoo in the world. He was born in 1903. He likes to eat cabbage for breakfast. I stands for a very pretty bird, the scarlet ibis of South America. When hundreds of scarlet ibises perch in a tree, it looks as if the tree were in bloom with red flowers. Jaguar begins with J, and that's our animal for this letter. Andy wants to see the jaguar. He'll like this one in the Bronx Zoo because it's gentle and friendly. What does K stand for, Andy? Why, K stands for the kangaroo that comes from Australia on the other side of the world. This one has a baby kangaroo in her pouch, and she carries it with her everywhere. Now watch the baby play hide-and-seek. L stands for the African lion, so Andy and his friend go to see the African plains exhibit in the Bronx Zoo. They want to hear the lion's roar. Did you ever hear a lion roar? Listen. <laughs> Next is M, and M is for Marmot.
marmoset, a kind of little monkey that lives in South America. At first, the babies ride on the backs of their fathers and mothers, but they soon learn to play by themselves. Don't they hop around like little frogs? In Andy's alphabet, N stands for Nyala, one of the pretty antelopes that live in Africa. All these Nyalas are brothers and sisters. O is for orangutan, and that's what Andy is, of course. Now Andy's pretending he's shy and he's going to try to hide. But we know where he is. We see you, Andy. O also stands for ostrich, the biggest bird in the world. It can't fly, but see how fast it can run. P is for penguin, and that's another kind of bird that can't fly. This is a king penguin that lives down by the South Pole. It can swim underwater faster than a fish. There aren't many animals whose names begin with Q, but there's the quail, a bird that lives in the field. Someday, when you're out in the country, maybe you'll see one. Next is R, and that's for rhinoceros that lives in Africa. He likes to stir up the dust with his nose, and then he walks over to beg for apples. He likes apples as much as you do, and Andy and his friend are giving him some. S is for sea lion. Let's listen to it bark. <coughs> S also stands for skunk. And that's one animal Andy's sure he doesn't want to make friends with. One look and one sniff, and Andy's getting out of there. And when Andy doesn't like something, he makes a face about it. In the Bronx Zoo, T is for tiger, and especially for this beautiful, gentle mother tiger who was born in the Bronx Zoo. This is a drawing of a tortoise, T for tortoise. And Andy's learning all about it because he's going to take a slow, easy ride on one of these big tortoises from the Galapagos Islands. They won't bite Andy because they only eat leaves and cactus and green things like that. But Andy isn't too sure it's safe. Hang on, Andy. It's a long way to the ground. It's almost two feet. U is for a very rare sort of bird, the umbrella bird that comes from South America. It's called that because it can spread the feathers on top of its head like opening an umbrella. At certain seasons, the male puffs out his throat like this. V is for another bird, the North African eared vulture. It isn't very pretty, is it? But there's another kind of vulture that is pretty. This is the king vulture that lives in Mexico and part of South America. After V comes W, and that's for the wolf. There used to be lots of wolves in the United States, but they only live in out-of-the-way places now, and they're not dangerous to people. X is a hard letter to find an animal for, but these are Xenopus frogs, spelled X-E-N-O-P-U-S. The man is going to take one out of the tank and hold it in his hand so you can see it. These frogs come from Africa. For the letter Y, we have the long-haired yak from Tibet. I wouldn't want to wear long hair like that in summertime, would you? Everybody knows that Z stands for zebra, and that's the last letter in the alphabet. We've gone all around the Bronx Zoo looking at the animals from A to Z, and that's the end of Andy's animal alphabet. Andy says, Q-R-S-T-U-N-D-W-S-Y